Hello, my name is Brian Patrick and I'm an IronSpeed MVP. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using Visual Studio with IronSpeed Designer. Now you may ask yourself, why do I need Visual Studio? Doesn't IronSpeed generate complete applications? Well, it does, but there are four good reasons why you, you would want to use Visual Studio with IronSpeed. One, easily finding compilation errors in your code. Two, IntelliSense. Three, debugging your application. And four, using third-party controls. Now, debugging and third-party controls are covered in other videos, so I'll just go over, over the first two reasons. For that, I've written a small sample application using IronSpeed. It's a simple show table and an add and edit record pages. Now, if we select design mode and then select one of the fields, you can see the code for the set function. Let's introduce a small error in the code and rebuild the application. I'm simply going to change this function right here. Now this is a, just a trivial example, but it demonstrates a very common problem, a simple syntax error in your code. Now when we click build, we can see that there's an error, and we can click show to see where. Now the problem is, is if we made several changes, or if our application were more complex and had other warnings, that error might be lost among many lines of warnings. I have other applications that are that way. So we can see right here where the error is. It's on this, this uh, file and this line and column. Now we can edit the file specified, and IronSpeed can show line numbers if you want to turn that option on. Again, this is a trivial example, so editing this file would be pretty easy. But what I like to do is to simply click on the Visual Studio button in IronSpeed. Now when you click on the Visual Studio button, IronSpeed loads your, the version of Visual Studio depending on which version of ASP.NET your application was compiled for, and then opens your application. It also selects the file that I was currently editing. I was editing the show apartments tables, and so that's the file that's opened in IronSpeed, I mean in Visual Studio. And as you can see, the same error code uh, is showing up right here in the compile window, the error list of Visual Studio. Okay. Now what I can do is I can simply double click on this error in Visual Studio and not only will it open the file, it will go to the correct line where the error is. Now once we're in Visual Studio, it's a simple matter of correcting the, the, uh, the program and recompiling. And notice it says build succeeded. The second great reason to use Visual Studio is IntelliSense, where Visual Studio will display the list of an object's members and properties. Now it's not necessary to know uh, every property associated with an object. Entering the period will pull up a list of properties, events, and member functions. For instance, if I click on period here, you notice that there's the all the properties and events associated with this um, edit on app name are shown. Another great reason for using IntelliSense is when you want to look at field names in your tables. For instance, I can say this.datasource, and then a list of all the fields in my table, my current table, will, sh will show up. Okay. Well, now that we've fixed this application, let's go ahead and save it and return to IronSpeed. Now going back to IronSpeed will generate a warning that the file has been modified outside of IronSpeed. Always click on yes to reload the file. Now in my opinion it's best not to have both Visual Studio and IronSpeed open on the same application. Jumping from one to the other will constantly prompt you to load changes that were done in the other. It's very easy to forget which, for which one has the latest changes. And if you forget to load the changes the two programs will get out of sync and you're going to be losing changes that you've done in the other program. What I do is to mostly code in IronSpeed and use Visual Studio to find the coding errors like the simple one that I've just shown you. Then exit Visual Studio, loading the changes one time back into IronSpeed. That way there is no confusion about having both editors open at the same time. Once again I'll do that. 
I'll go ahead and change it here. Save it in Iron Speed. Click on Visual Studio. Build my application. Correct the error in Visual Studio. And then save it and exit out of Visual Studio. And then the, once again, load the changes back into Iron Speed. So, in conclusion, I've shown the two simple reasons for using Visual Studio with Iron Speed. For the other reasons, debugging your application and third party controls, please view the other available videos on the Iron Speed website. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, I can be reached through the contact information on the IronSpeed MVP page.